Today in After Effects, we're going to be taking a look at creating this kinetic type effect. So to get started, I'm going to go up to Composition and create a new composition. Now I'll be making my 1920 by 1080 and clicking OK. So after that, we need to first start by creating some text or other graphics on the stage to start animating. So I'll go up and grab my text tool and then create two separate words. Now I'll make the letters RCG larger and white and then position those on top of the word tutorials in an orangish yellow color. So since we want to be able to animate these two pieces of text as a whole, we need to select both of these layers and then go up to layer and then down to pre-compose all the way at the bottom of the menu. This will then move these two layers into a larger layer, essentially grouping them. So now that we have this done, we need to take and change where the pre comped layer rotates around. So I will go up and grab my pan behind tool for my toolbar and then zoom in. So after that, grab the anchor point of our layer and then take and move it to the very bottom of the text. This will mean that our text will now rotate and move around this point. So after that, we're ready to start animating. So go ahead and check the 3D layer box for your pre comp and press R to bring up the rotation keyframes. So go ahead and click the stopwatch for the X rotation to set a keyframe for that property. So after that, move your playhead out to about a third of a second and then raise up the X rotation until the text falls forward and lays flat on the ground. So during this animation, we're also going to want to animate the opacity. So go ahead and press shift T on your keyboard to bring up that property. So then we can take and animate the opacity so that as the text gets closer to the ground, we fade it out over a few frames. So there we go, now we have the first piece of the animation complete. Now for the second piece, we can double click on our pre comp and then copy the tutorials layer and then go back to our main comp and paste it. So I'll then change this text to a blue color and scale it up. Now I'm also going to be changing what the text says and we're going to make it say on. So you can move this text around a little bit, but make sure to keep this text on the same X axis so that it rotates around the same area. Now feel free to move it horizontally so that it lines up with the previous rotation. So again, make sure and turn this layer into a 3D layer and then go ahead and move your playhead over to where the first layer started to rotate and then set an X rotation and an opacity keyframe. So after that, you can go ahead and move the playhead to where the first layer had faded out and set two more keyframes. So once you've done this, go back to your first X rotation keyframe and lower the value so that the text rotates downward to lay on its back. Now again, we want the text to fade in, so go ahead and set your first keyframe to zero and then move the second keyframe in so that the text fades in quickly. So now we have the text animating in, and since we want the text to stay around for a little bit on this second piece, we can take and move the playhead out about another three-fourths of a second and create an X rotation keyframe and an opacity keyframe. So after you're happy with the timing on that, you can move out another third of a second or so and then create another X rotation keyframe as well as an opacity keyframe. So then again, we're going to adjust the value of the last X rotation keyframe so that the text then falls forward. So then we're also going to take the last opacity keyframe and make that zero and adjust the opacity keyframe so that the text fades out as it falls. So the steps for the third and final piece are very similar to the beginning of the second piece. So first go ahead and copy the text from the inside of the first pre-comp and paste a copy on the stage. I will then change the text and then go ahead and duplicate this layer again and then change that text. So after that I can scale up the pieces of text accordingly and then make the top word white and the bottom one red. So while you're doing this, don't forget to scrub into where the pieces overlap with the second piece in order to make sure that they are centered up correctly. So since again we're using two layers, make sure and pre-comp these and then zoom in to move the anchor point to the bottom of the text with the pan behind tool. Now after that, it's as easy as turning the layer into a 3D layer and then animating the text upward and fading it in. Now I'm not going to spend a lot of time covering this key for key as we have discussed a lot of these concepts in the other two pieces. So now when you're finished, you can go ahead and throw a few finishing touches on by selecting all of your X rotation keyframes and then right clicking on one of them and then selecting Easy Ease from the keyframe assistant menu. This will give your animation a little bit more of a realistic feel. Now you can also spend some time adjusting the timing and duration of your piece, but this should give you the general effect. So as always, if you enjoyed this After Effects tutorial, be sure to subscribe, rate, comment, and share it with your friends.